The creepy anti-choice activist who was arrested last week because authorities found five fetuses in her Virginia home now claims that she and her activist buddies have buried more than 100 fetuses that they somehow obtained. Now, the fetuses Lauren Handy, that's the right wing zealot here claimed, were among the 100 others recovered at the abortion clinic in Washington. So she claims that she obtained them at this abortion clinic in Washington. Um, apparently she said this, during the five days they were under my stewardship, the 115 victims of abortion violence were given funeral mass for unbaptized children and 110 were given a proper burial in a private cemetery. Now, none of this has been confirmed. And in fact, the way that she purports to have obtained these fetuses is it's being questioned, okay? So she says, after what she described as a mass burial at an undisclosed location, Handy claims she ultimately arranged for the medical examiner to pick up the five fetuses. No, she didn't. She's just such an insane liar. She got arrested, she got arrested. She didn't hit up the medical examiner and be like, yo, buddy, I got five fetuses. No, that's not, mm -hmm. anyway, but let me keep going. This woman's insane. Alleging they had wounds consistent with a violent crime, but Handy and her activist friend said that they even tried unsuccessfully to find a private pathologist to examine the fetuses. The medical examiner's office did not immediately respond to the Daily Beast request for comment. Now, they had later said, John, that the way that they obtained the fetuses was there was a driver who picked them up from the clinic and was supposed to take them to like an incinerator or something. They intervened and convinced the driver to hand the fetuses over to them. Now, the company in which this driver is employed denies this wholeheartedly. The driver, Curtis Bay Medical Waste Services, denied the group's account. They stated that the employee took the boxes from the Reproductive Health Center in Washington State and delivered them to the group's incineration facility. But it's the most bizarre story. So I don't know how she got a hold of the fetuses. She is on the record in various interviews admitting to encouraging minors to commit crimes associated with their activism because they're minors. All of that will just be expunged from their records later. She's crazy and she's committing crimes and thinks that there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's like a, an activism legal strategy, like thinking that a husband and a wife can't be convicted for the same crime. It's like, I don't think you've done as much research as you think that you have. Um, her cover story, all, all of the cover stories here are absolutely absurd, but I, I think we should give them a shake. Uh, so you convinced the driver to hand them over. What is that? That sounds like you hijacked it. It sounds like you threatened him. I don't think that you sat him down and had a, a talk about philosophy and your anti-abortion ideology, it sounds like you hijacked them. I don't think that, that happened. I think that they snuck into the truck or something and stole it. Um, and I will also say it's sort of weird because I did an interview just a couple of weeks ago with a lawyer who represents families suing a variety of different groups or individuals that are involved in the black market for human bodies and body parts. It was connected to that story about a box of human heads being stolen out of a truck recently. And he said that it's quite frequent for people to oh. steal things that are being either moved to be incinerated or for the actual people doing the incineration to pretend to incinerate things, but then sell on the black market the body parts either for illegal medical experimentation. In some cases, is selling heads to terrorist groups for use in propaganda videos. So oh why not God. fetuses for videos like this? If you can make a little bit of extra money, I doubt those people are rolling in it. But the fundamental problem for me isn't even necessarily the five that she's claiming there were violent crimes done to. I don't even know what the theory there is that a woman was attacked, stabbed, and then decided that rather than go to the hospital, she went to get an abortion done. It's a maddening theory. But the 100 that they buried, like you are allowed to have your own religion. As you famously have gone viral in saying, I, I respect and support your right to have your religion. Uh, but that right ends at you performing illegal non-consensual religious ceremonies on the dead bodies of people whose family wouldn't want you to be within a mile 
of that fetus. And if you can't see that everything that you've done, everything that you've said to cover it is absolute madness, then I don't know how we're supposed to communicate with people. These are not religious values. This is psychosis being acted out via activism. Yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. And I think what's also concerning, you know, if you take a step back and look at the broader picture, is that zealots and insane people like Handy are winning across the country. And it's it's not because of the law breaking or the activism carried out by people like Handy. It's because of how well organized, how well funded, and how strategic the right wing has been in ensuring that their judicial nominees get confirmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, all these conservative federal judges, they matter. Whether you find it boring or not, the Supreme Court and the nominees that get confirmed matter. Yeah. It matters that Trump got elected and succeeded in confirming three rabid right wing judges who will hand down one pro corporate decision after another. And also very likely will be able to allow severe restrictions on reproductive rights to pass in various red states across the country. And I just want to give you one of the more recent examples. This is in Oklahoma. Keep in mind that women in Texas who can no longer get an abortion as a result of that state effectively banning it have been traveling to Oklahoma to get the reproductive health that they need. Well, now Oklahoma has just passed legislation. The Senate had already passed it, but the State House has also just recently passed legislation flat out banning abortion. The governor is very likely to sign it. It will be implemented into law. And what are we going to do? We're going to hope that this right wing, you know, Supreme Court is going to strike it down. They might. There's one element to this story that gives me a tiny, tiny bit of hope. But at, at this point, I feel like optimism is a ridiculous thing to have. Mm -hmm. So let me give you the details on how they're doing this. The Oklahoma State House recently passed the bill modeled on the controversial Texas abortion ban, which lets individuals sue anyone over illegal abortions. And abortion rights supporters and opponents were expected to battle it out over the legislation. But this is the but. Instead of advancing that bill, the House instead passed a more straightforward abortion ban, which would be enforced by the government in a 70 to 14 vote. The state Senate originally passed this bill last year. Now, the reason why I say that there's a, a, a little bit of hope here is because modeling legislation like that, where it just is it's an outright ban that would be enforced by the government, has been, there's precedent for that being unconstitutional. So the hope is, the hope is that our right wing Supreme Court will uphold precedent on this matter. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't hold my breath. Exactly, yeah, and look, if they were anything other than the ideologues they were chosen to be, there is no way that this novel mechanism, the turning everything into a bounty, financially incentivizing the Karenization of our justice system, there's no way that that would actually fly with the Supreme Court. But it is a very interesting open question about whether in the end it will. I mean, they've been chosen to deliver results, to deliver, as you pointed out, financial results. That's the main reason they were chosen. And maybe you throw like a true believer, like an Amy Coney Barrett on there, because she'll deliver for the religious stuff. This is the, the, the abortion stuff. God only knows what the Supreme Court will end up allowing in terms of the trans community. That is bread and circuses. It is designed to placate the right wing masses. So that the elite Republicans that the populists say they're against but are part of the group can get away with murder. Never worrying about their taxes ever going up, never worrying about regulation on their businesses, allowing actual elected officials to get away with murder when it comes to their the relationship that they have with donors, both while they're in office, their ability to monetize their former positions once they move out of office, and their ability to enrich themselves by playing the stock market while they have the ability to put their thumb on the scale. Like it's an amazing rigged system for the limited number of people that are already on the end. Yeah, no, absolutely right. And of course, I mean, we've brought up the hypocrisy so many times. We're talking about a right wing 
that on one hand claims to be pro-life, but doesn't want to do anything on a federal level, certainly when it comes to gun control. I mean, even on a state level, they don't even want to do simple background checks. They love the loopholes that allow people, all sorts of dangerous people to purchase guns with no checks and then carry out violent crimes, murders, you know, situations where people get killed. But those lives don't matter. They love cutting funding to programs that help keep children in poverty, healthy and alive, including the food stamp program. And let's also not forget one of the other big stories of the day. Remember, Senate Republicans are refusing to vote in favor of COVID funding legislation. Yeah. That would, by the way, they're not sending you money. All it would do was, all it would do would essentially help people who need to get COVID testing, COVID treatments, vaccinations. It would ensure that those things remain free. So people stay healthy and alive. And remember, it's the right wing that's fighting against that. Yep. So they're hypocrites. It's not about a pro-life movement. It's all about power and control. And that is what we're seeing playing out in many red states across the country. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.